Hello, my name is Ian Naylor. I'm the co-founder of Hyperize. And in this event, what we're going to be covering is uh, what is Hyperize, what are personal images, how can we use them? So jumping straight in, we can see here we're in LinkedIn and we're looking at a personalized image, uh, which is part of a message. In this case, you can see it's image to a sort of message to Daniel. And in that uh, message, we have this image here that's um, offering him uh, the ability to sign up for a trial and we kind of got this personalized mat and you see also as I move my uh, mouse that this is actually a clickable element let's jump over to email we can see a similar sort of thing in this case an email um, was part of a campaign one of uh, kind of maybe a couple of thousand that went out and again this one email to AJ and we've got a personalized experience specific to AJ pulling through in this case his name and actually his profile image from, from LinkedIn in an email message and that's really the you know, the core, the crux of what we're able to achieve with Hyperize using personalized images in our outreach, um, you know, using, like say, for example, from templates like this, you can see here, I am within the Hyperize platform, the same GIF image we saw here that's personalized to AJ, we can now see it in its template format, where we've got a placeholder for the first name, along with lots of other placeholders we can add, placeholder here for the profile image, and uh, various other elements. And then we simply create these or take these uh, image templates and add them into our outreach templates, whether that be LinkedIn um, or email, whether that be using automation tools or doing it manually uh, with our Chrome extensions, uh, which we enable for both email, LinkedIn, and we integrate with hundreds of different platforms on top of that. So whatever you're using for outreach from an email, from a LinkedIn um, and beyond, you know, CRMs, etc. you know, we have you pretty much covered with all of our in hundreds of integrations. But that's really the, the key of part of the main part of it is Hyperize, which is image personalization. What we also enable is website personalization. So for example, here, if I click um, the image to AJ, what that's going to do is take us through to a landing page or a destination in the same way that um, I could also click this and get to the, the, a similar sort of personalized landing page. But as you can see here in this page to AJ, who was, uh, who's from University of California, um, the whole page is now personalized to him around the call to actions. Now, even we've got a video here personalized to him. Hi, AJ. Thanks for accepting my offer. Now, I won't play the whole video, but you get the point, you know, that we're able to kind of create these personalized outcomes, um, you know, and, and personalized to him. And, you know, it's going kind to of drive that engagement. And that really is the key for Hyperize. And so that really kind of gives us the idea of what Hyperize can achieve in terms of personalizing um, to a significant level, um, you know, with images and on your website, the whole funnel. But let's kind of take a little step back and ask, you know, why is it that we want to do that? You know, what is the reason you know, why you're um, here on this call and why Hyperize exists and why, you know, why, you know, why images, um, you know, play a part in that? So first of all, the key really is that, you know, we're, as users, as prospects, we're being bombarded by messages, you know, and, and growing over 5,000 mock messages a day on average we see. Um, but we all have the same amount of hours and minutes and seconds in the day. So as we're getting increasingly more messages, the amount of time that we have to process those messages and the amount of time as sales and marketing people, we have to grab their attention is getting less and less. And that's kind of where images come in. With image personalization, we can, of course, with images that generally, you know, they're great for telling a story. And that's, that's no surprise if you think about, you know, any uh, communication uh, channel that you see, you know, they're inherently visual based, you know, and have a large proponent of, of, um, of images. Whereas when we resort to kind of outreach messages in email or LinkedIn, you know, they tend to be pretty much just text. And it's really those kind of wall of text emails or LinkedIn messages, very, very difficult to process. And we can see here the human brain actually processes images 60,000 times quicker than text. So when we're using personalized images to help drive an outcome, you know, it's helping uh, display that information in a more uh, comfortable way, let's say, for the person receiving it. But because we're processing those images so quickly, when there's something different in those images, like personalization, it's going to trigger what's referred to as a pattern interrupt. 
And essentially that pattern interrupt is a psychological behavior. It's just going to put a break on the brain and that's going to lead to more mind share, which leads to more engagement and more people understanding your call to action. And so that's really what we're trying to trigger. We're trying to one, use personalized images, but do it in a purposeful way that's telling a story or a kind of uh, it, reflecting the story we're telling in our copy, um, but doing it in a personal way. So we're just driving mind share and also, you know, creating a moment of delight along the way. That's really the core of what Hyperize is doing. It's enabling you to personalize your images and your outreach at scale and dynamically. So you create one image template and then without lifting a finger, it's going to personalize to every prospect you reach out to, you know, whether that's thousands, tens of thousands or, or millions. And the great thing about personalized images is they're inherently portable. We can use them throughout our sales funnel. So whether it is outreach, whether it's newsletters, onboarding, LinkedIn, as you said, on your website, and beyond, there are many, many use cases where these personalized images can be embedded to you know, further increase the hyper-personalization of your sales funnel. And obviously, when we start to combine these, so for example, combining a, an email to a landing page, we're creating you know, hyper-personalized sales funnel. So it's multiple steps you know, to really drive conversions throughout the sales funnel. So hopefully that's given you some food for thought about you know, or at least kind of uh, giving you a, a basis of understanding where the power of um, personalized images come in. So, but obviously the next step is if you're going to use images, it's trying to think about how to use them in the outreach. You know, what sort of images should you use? And so there are kind of, I guess, a couple of different camps of use cases of where you would want to use personalized images. Um, if, if you're a salesperson or your, your call to action is about getting somebody to book a call with you or to generate a meeting of some kind, some sort of, you know, the call to action is, is a calendar essentially uh, to meet somebody, then humanizing that connection, you know, with a humanized GIF, showing yourself or an avatar of yourself, you know, for example, here, you know, this uh, black background image and this black pink one, uh, black pink one and, the, and the gray one, for example, they're all stock images uh, that clients have been using, but still to great effect, creating um, a, a kind of humanized connection. But being able to show yourself, you know, and, and kind of leverage that kind of the way uh, we as humans want to connect with other humans is a great way of um, doing that with personalization to, tr tr like to trigger that pattern interrupt as we go along. Uh, but delving into kind of more examples around the personalized gifts, uh, the humanized gifts, should I say, is kind of within the, within the image itself, you know, what to have and how to kind of present yourself. And this is a, an example that we use within Hyperize where we'll have a prop you know, in this case, a whiteboard, you know, next to me. Um, and then, you know, we're putting through the personalization of the name, you know, in this case, their logo and also their, um, their profile image, but also myself front and center of the video and they're smiling and waving. And what that's doing is creating that kind of feel good factor, you know, where I'm kind of delivering something that, you know, people will respond to very positively. And that then in turn helps you leverage the law of reciprocity, you know, which basically says that if you do something nice for somebody, they're going to feel compelled to respond likewise. And so, you know, creating that kind of uh, welcoming um, uh, image and you know welcoming connection you're more likely they're going to respond or maybe even you know with with kind of an, a response like this you see here from Rebecca her response is like love this exclamation mark what could, when can we chat you know so probably you would say over the top for a cold out, outreach response nobody really loves cold outreach but you know to elevate the feel good factor from like to love you know, by simple changes, simple additions to your campaigns, in this case, you know, a very simple personalized image, leveraging that, leveraging that law of reciprocity, you know, with Rebecca's name and logo on the board. And then, you know, that led to a positive outcome of, of a call. Um, or using props or something in, in your images that can help tell the story. So, you know, for example, framing your call to action of, hey, let's have a chat and a coffee versus let's have a demo or a discovery call or, you know, something that sounds a little bit heavier. Um, and then using the image to visualize and reinforce that call to action in a nice way. And of course, having the personalization in there as well. And all of those things to kind of come together that we start to get responses like this that we see from Edgar, who says, I never reply to these emails. This is the first one that worked. And the funny thing is that uh, as somebody that uses these sort of images, you know, obviously every day, I see this sort of response pretty much 
most days, if not multiple times per day. It's almost like with people that you know, have an aversion to cold email, when they do respond, they feel like they have to kind of justify that. And that's you know, quite fun to see when, when, uh, when it's such a <laughs> repeatable, uh, repeated uh, uh, comment. You know, or even getting people that, you know, when we're reaching out, we don't always manage to find the right person. Like in this case with Jonathan uh, from TFC Marketing, where he probably wasn't, in this case, he was the CEO, not the, uh, the right decision maker. But rather than just either deleting me or responding and telling me he wasn't the right person, he's actually forwarded it to his team. He was that engaged, you know, felt that kind of moment of delight from um you know from the image that he felt kind of compelled to kind of you know again that law of reciprocity you know kind of uh, push it forward and you know again just creating amazing responses and that's one of the things that you'll notice when you start to use uh, these sort of images especially the humanized ones you get lots of uh, you know positive connection replies even for people that maybe you know aren't in a position to move forward at uh, this point, you know, they're still uh, open to connecting. And obviously, that's always great for your, your broader kind of network. But what we've looked at so far are images, kind of what I've referred to already as humanized gifts. But there are other ways that you can visualize your call to action. This is a couple of image examples here that we're looking at from G2, uh, one of our clients. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with G2. They're essentially TripAdvisor for software. It's like why I like to think about them. You go there and by category, uh, software category, you're going to see uh, discover products. Uh, you know, and you're going to see who's who's the best, who's the leaders, who's got the most reviews, and all, all of those sort of things. Um, now, what they do is what G2 do is they produce these quarterly reports showing who you know, who is the best and who's the up and coming, and all of those sort of things. Um, and now, in this case, they've taken those reports that they do produce and created examples of them and personalized them to the prospect they're reaching out. So in these two examples, we can see personalized to Apple, but where you're seeing the, the Apple logo or the Apple um, name, they're all dynamic to each recipient. And now when they did that, when they visualized the success, you know, this aspirational image of if you work with G2, you know, you can become a category leader, that increased their reply rate from 15 to 48 cents, a massive 3x uplift simply by extending their product essentially and taking it just from their quarterly reports right into the inbox of the prospect you know who'd eventually achieve that sort of status by working with g2 so you know real real powerful stuff uh, from g2 there in terms of being able to extend their product with personalized images Here's another example. In this case, this is from Reply.io. So they're another client of ours. And if you've not heard of them, they're essentially a cold outreach platform, multi-channel, you know, LinkedIn, email, that sort of thing. Um, and essentially what they're doing when they're reaching out, you can see these examples here of personalized images. They're kind of showing or kind of visualizing the story of, you know, there's the old way, you know, the, the pain, if you like, and then there's the pleasure of the new way, the old way without reply. You've got all of these kind of different systems not really talking to each other. And then with reply, you've got this multi-channel system, a nice streamlined uh, funnel. And they're just making one simple personalized change in this image. You can see here, it's just the logo of the client they're reaching out to, but certainly enough um, that when we look at the results, they jumped from an 11 to a 21% um, response rate when they start to use these personalized images. So clearly when you see your company logo in an image sent to you, that is going to be massive from a pattern interrupt triggering. Um, the other interesting thing with Reply, of course, being a stats-based uh, company, and they didn't just look at reply rate, they looked at their open rate and also the delivery into the inbox rate. And what they found is that they saw improvements across the board as they started getting better engagement, more people responding and replying and clicking from the emails they're sending out. That in turn led to a better domain reputation and therefore landing more uh, emails into uh, the inbox and getting them open. So an amazing double result really there. Uh, for them in, the, in their case. This is a quite a different uh, use case again. Uh, in this case, I think it's quite interesting. This is actually from an events company that run Ecom World and AdWorld. And what they do is uh, when anybody buys a ticket for any of their events, they provide them with these shareable gifts, uh, which you can see represents like the ticket that they've just bought, um, but with personalized to the person uh, that's attending. 
And then what they do is encourage uh, the people that have um, bought those, got the, their tickets to share these uh, personalized gifts on Instagram, on Twitter, etc., cetera, uh, and in, in, in turn get put in, uh, uh, put in for a prize draw for further uh, gifts and swag, etc. So it's a kind of a, one of those win-wins where the person who's booked the event feels a little bit more special because they're, they're given these personalized images. And obviously, on the reverse of that, the uh, event organizers get a little bit of virality of people, their customers sharing about the event and kind of being discovered by their extended network. And again, this is maybe a little bit like um, the old um, Coca-Cola campaign, you know, where you could get a bottle with your name on. And I think you know that they sold an additional 150 million bottles of Coke from doing that and got tens of thousands of people sharing pictures of bottles of Coke with their name on. So, you know, really does help create that virality in, in, in a nice, pleasant way. Um, so we've kind of seen there a couple of different examples, you know, whether it's the humanized gifts, whether it's the aspirational images, whether it's kind of that diagrammatic kind of visualization of choice, you know, or even, um, you know, offering referral and engagement, you know, and kind of using your product in a personalized way. Another interesting way, um, you know, especially for SaaS owners out there watching, would be um, to personalize your product screenshots. So, for example, Hubstaff, what they do is they take their product images, you know, directly from their website, load them up into Hyperize. And you can see in this case, um, We've got this image personalized again to, uh, to Apple or Tim Cook from Apple. You know, we're putting through very subtle things like their logo on the top of the, you know, the count point in their dashboard, but also the first person list in the prospect, you know, is obviously uh, Tim in this case. But on the, on the app side, you know, you've got, uh, again, personalized logos and profile images, but also even the map personalized. I creating so many different um, personalized points in the image, you know, of course you're going to trigger, you know, a significant pattern interrupt, you know, that's, you know, they're just going to be like, wow, 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 you know, and really kind of, uh, kind of listening to the rest of your message. And it's kind of like that, um, you know, putting the product in their hands is exactly you know, how they would see it, you know, when they're using it, you know, with all of their details in there. So, you know, really helping to paint that picture and how that um, kind of manifested itself in, in terms of result was, it went from a 3%, so that was their baseline. They're already achieving a 3% click-through rate. It went from a 3% click-through rate to 11%. And then that 11% represented a three and a half times uplift um, you know, on their baseline. The interesting thing was that this image here that we were looking at is actually the winning image. They tested three or four different product images overall that achieved this 11%. So that was a kind of diluted across all the images. The winning image that we're looking at here, actually this one got a 12 and a half percent. So that's more than a 4X uplift indeed. So, you know, really amazing. But they didn't stop there with just improving their outreach. They also personalized their landing page as well. So they personalized the header of their landing page, the call to action with the button, um, and also you know, the, uh, the obviously, of course, the product images. And what that led to was a compounding impact where not only did they get an uplift in their kind of email outreach and people landing them, get to the landing page, but also they doubled the conversion going from 10 to 21% on the landing page. So those two things led to an overall funnel uplift of 7x, seven times more people ended up in a trial from campaigns when they used personalized images in the outreach and then a personalized landing page. And that really does um, kind of reflect what we see, obviously not just within high-priced customers, but broader studies that have, have been uh, kind of taken, uh, that have taken place. For example, HubSpot, they, um, they did a survey um, of over, um, it was over 300,000 websites, you can see here, over a six-month time period. And what they found was that People on the sites where it was personalized, they were 202% more likely to convert, to take the call to action on the page when personalization was used around that call to action. So again, going back to hub staff, you know, having the, the personalization action on the call to action button itself, you know, really does make a massive difference. And now that really is the key that we're seeing here that, you know, it's about, you know, personalizing each step. Um, and, you know, and doing multiple steps and get those compounding impacts, inputs. And that's kind of really uh, the kind of what I want to show you in terms of an overview of the platform. Now what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do first of all, is I'm going to go through to the Hyperize images and I'm going to create a brand new image. 
So we can see we've got a blank canvas here and we've got all of our personalization controls. We've got our image canvas in the middle and our settings on the right. So what I'm gonna do is simply click the canvas and what I can do right now is I can either select the existing image that I've already recorded or uploaded um, from, from my image library. I can either upload any brand new sort of image that again could be a product image off my website or something I've just created in Canva or whatever. And this could be any PNGs, JPEGs, GIFs, animated GIFs, whatever. Or if you want to create a humanized GIF like um, some of the examples we looked at, we could also have this record GIF option. And that way, what we're doing is using the webcam that we've got on our computer. And again, we can create different shapes. We want portrait or square default or kind of widescreen. Um, I'll just choose default for now as well as the recording length. So in this case, we've got a two second um, win, uh, recording length and then that one just loop around and loop around. So I'm gonna click record. We'll get a nice little countdown. Then all I'm gonna do is just give a smile and a wave. And so now we've got that. And so maybe this could be a nice email for somebody that I've just connected with and select the image. So now that we have the image, uh, what I can do is start to drag on personalized layers. So for example, um, I'm gonna drag in some text here. I'm going to just, just kind of first of all stylize the text. So I'm going to change the color from gray to black so it pops. I'm going to add a shadow onto that so it kind of, regardless of the color on the page, on, in the image, it's going to still um, show nicely. And then maybe change it to a font that's uh, maybe a little bit um, kind of bolder, let's say. Uh, with Hyperize, there are hundreds of fonts in here that we can choose from. So whatever, you know, for example, you know, whether you want a like, permanent marker, if we're going to put it on a on a board, for example, you know, this chalk and all sorts of things. But now you see we've got a, a pretty kind of standard, almost kind of like meme -y sort of text here. Um, so I'm just gonna stop typing in here and say, hi, uh, first name, I'm pumped to meet you. So in this case, what we've got is um, a personalized message maybe that I would be using um, when somebody's booked a call, you know, just kind of want to create some further engagement. And again, what we could do is kind of have this at the top like that, or even at the bottom, we could even add uh, a shape here to kind of, uh, to kind of mask this, mask this off a little bit, almost kind of like you would with kind of subtitles. We can change the order here um, behind, you know, maybe even make this semi-transparent, you know, that sort of thing. So we've kind of got lots of ways that we can uh, create an image that's personalized. Maybe we want their logo in the corner, um, just to kind of um, uh, kind of set that off. Um, and then maybe we'll put in the other corner we'll put our own logo. So we're just kind of balancing that, so their logo there. Let's maybe make it a similar sort of size. So let's, let's save that, uh, make it public so we can use it. Now, if we preview this, you can see now with my example e e data of Tim at Apple, I now have this, uh, the Hyperize logo, the Apple logo, and hi Tim, I'm pumped to meet you. So now we've got our per a perfect image. I'm gonna give it a, a name that uh, represents it, save it. So now I say I want to start using this um, in LinkedIn. Let's go back to Daniel. You see we're first group connections, so I can already straight away send a message. What I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna do here, so for Daniel is I'm going to send him, uh, let's close that down, uh, a, a personalized message. Uh, with the end. So you can see here we've got this uh, short link button here. So that's again uh, from our Chrome extension. You can see I'm already logged in there. And when I simply click that, it's going to open up um, a little uh, picker here where we can first of all select our personalized images. So we've got our pumped image that obviously we've just created. So I'm going to select that. Uh, and I'm going to select a title um, underneath. So in this case, I'm going to say first name. Um, in that pumped to meet you. So we're going to just reflect a similar sort of message to what we've got in the image itself. And then finally, uh, I'm going to choose a destination URL. So in this case, I'm just going to choose um, our my um, call to action landing page Loom demo. So as soon as I click submit, it's going to create the image short link and it's added it to my buffer. So I can now go directly to messages and I can paste this in, this short link. And when I paste that in, it's going to um, convert into, uh, let me see, or, uh, to, to create this personalized um, image. So that's kind of a simple way of doing it in LinkedIn. Again, similarly in, uh, in Gmail, in this case, um, I'm going to send an email to somebody. So let me just uh, pick somebody here. 
Um, and then as soon as I kind of go into the body, this little um, button appears. And what it's going to do is allow me to select um, my personalized images from my account. So if I want to choose this one here, I can simply select that and it's going to dynamically personalize. In this case, you can see to Rachel uh, and we're putting through all the personalization in, in terms of in this case, Coda being uh, the business and therefore I put in the logo and obviously the personalization in the speech bubble. So that's the kind of the way that you can do it manually, you know, within, within LinkedIn, within email. Um, and then of course, from, from these elements, you know, we're going to get through personalized experiences. So for example, going back to the, the Daniel example here, you see we've now got a personalized page from that short link, which is actually our Loom demo page that we selected before. Uh, and now we can see we've got a personalized uh, video to Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Did you know videos generate the highest? Um, and as well as that, um, you've got personalization around the call to action. And again, using our Chrome extension, uh, we can pretty much define any elements on the page. So in this case, you can see where we have Daniel's business name. We're using the, the personalization tag, a business name. Um, you know, where we had his first name next to the Calendly. We've got, you know, again, the, the, the placeholder for his first name. And we can kind of go through this whole page, selecting any text elements, um, you know, and adding in personalization holders or selecting any image elements and being able to drop in our personalized images that we've just created uh, in, in our account or any personalized videos that we've created that are in our account and replace those and show those um, on the page. So again, um, that is uh, going to go back to the kind of the, the core essence of what we're trying to do. Hyperize. It's about, you know, creating hyper personalization and personalizing the whole sales funnel. So being able to personalize your landing pages like this can really help and drive uh, kind of engagement as we saw from some of the examples and surveys that we went through. We notice it ourselves um, in our Google Analytics that the linger time of people on our site when they're getting a personalized experience is more than double over five minutes uh, versus just about two minutes without. So, you know, quite a, a good uplift. And that's the great thing about Hyperide. You see right now uh, we've personalized the landing page from a link. But when we start to go anywhere else on the site, because we've now dropped a cookie, we're going to see the kind of the personalization everywhere through the site, whether it's the, whether it's the homepage, now we're on the blog, and again, we're still creating that, those kind of moments of delight where we're personalizing as we go. So hopefully that's given you some overviews of what you can do with Hyperize and the sort of use cases in outreach, in sales, in, in marketing emails, you know, with LinkedIn, with email, um, manually, as we saw. Also, um, to kind of do this at scale, create one image template and put it in some cadences or, or campaigns. Again, we can simply within our images that we've created, choose the get image code, add the integration of the, the, the automation platform we're using, simply select the integration. In this case, I'm choosing active campaign. And then we just copy the image source code and then just add that directly to the campaign outreach template in your chosen integration platform. And for whatever platform you've chosen, there'll be an integration guide that shows you exactly how to do that, where to put the image and all of that, you know, in the, the platform you've selected. So very simple, you can't really go wrong in terms of the kind of the, the couple of steps you have to follow and, and there's support there all the way um, in terms of guides, in terms of chat um, and beyond. You know, to get you through there. So hopefully uh, that's given you some confidence to kind of get stuck in uh, you know, and, and have a play. Um, the other thing to mention, of course, is that you know, getting stuck in and having a play, you here at Hyperize, you know, we've got a completely free trial, no commitment. So just simply go to hyperize.com uh, and we'll uh, click the start free trial button uh, and you'll be straight in, no credit card needed. You know, we're going to give you a full 14-day trial and equally happy to extend beyond that if you do need to make extra time. And then and only then, once you've um, kind of proven to yourself you know, that this is going to be a platform that's going to add some value to outreach, then we have three simple plans for, um, for our customers to be able to personalize images or images and websites or images, videos and websites. Um, I want to take this uh, moment to say I do appreciate you uh, spending the time with me this afternoon. And if you do um, you know, have any questions that you think of after the event, 
please do uh, feel free to reach out to myself or uh, to the Hyperice uh, team. Again, we, you can uh, jump to hyperice.com, uh, find the little uh, speech bubble or chat bubble, should I say, in the bottom right-hand corner. Click the Start New Conversation and we'll be happy to answer your questions then. So that, that leaves me just to say thanks again for your time uh, and I look forward to catching up and hopefully meeting again soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.